Good morning, Spartans. I'm Fran Vega. I'm Keon Hurt. I'm Elisa Kobo. And, and this, this is Spartan Shield, Shield News. Today we'll be covering your best 2023 highlights, students' New Year's resolution, recent Wi-Fi issues, some admin trivia, winter sports, and the recent classroom break-ins. As we're starting a new year, let's look back at the best parts of 2023 with reporter Melanie Contreras. Hi, I'm Melanie and I'm with... Nathan Cheetah. Mr. Pina. Maya Olivares. And I'm with Christelle. Um, <laughs> Christelle, what was your 2023 highlight? Uh, my 2023 highlight was during competitions with um, marching band and color guard. It was just like really like a good experience to have as like my first year. Um, well, my 2023 highlight would be maybe like homecoming. It was just a really nice experience, like a lot of fun, a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. uh, my first one though. Uh, my highlight in 2023 was uh, watching my daughter uh, graduate from high school and uh, going off to college. The best part of my 2023 was volleyball season because we did so much better than last season and it was just a really good experience with the whole team. On the topic of the new year, let's see how all students plan to make this year better with reporter Jasmine Aldana. This is reporter Jasmine interviewing students about their New Year's resolution goal. I'm here with Jared. I'm Jacqueline. Alexa. David Crenshaw. Hi, David. It's nice to meet you. I just wanted to come here and ask you, what's your New Year's resolution, David? Oh, to win in basketball. And how's that coming for you? It's going good, but I know we could do better. Um, it's to get better grades in school. And how's that turning out for you? Um, good. I have like most of A's right now. It's like to pass all my classes with um a B or higher. And how's that going for you? It's um, going well. So far, it's going okay. Um, on some classes, I'm struggling, but mostly it's it's pretty good. Uh, my New Year's resolution for this year is to get into get it accepted into college. And did you? Um, so far, yes. Is it your dream college? No, not Aww. yet. Well, hopefully it turns out. Thank you. Back to you, anchors. Hopefully the year keeps rolling well for everybody. On to other news, there's been recent Wi-Fi issues. Here with this is reporter Fran Vega. This is Fran Vega with Spartan Shield News. All right, this is Mr. Amparan, chemistry teacher, quote unquote. So, how has the Wi-Fi outing affected you? Uh, it was definitely tough. Mm -hmm. um, just because this, a lot of our assignments are kind of pushed to be online. Uh, it has really put a cramp on my day. Um, what I had planned for today definitely required the Wi-Fi. Thank you. So uh, it had me to adjust and shift. Mm -hmm. But So how did you adjust to the Wi-Fi going out? Uh, we're trying to use hotspots as best we possibly can. Do you think we should be more prepared to deal with that Wi-Fi as a school? Uh, well, as far as me, I feel like if our printer downstairs in the 300s worked, that we would have been fine today. Mm -hmm. um, the only problem was we don't have that printer. Yeah. So it was a lot of uh, having to give like breaks during class so I could like write whatever I need to on the board and set up like the next part of the lesson. Sometimes, I don't know if you can be prepared enough for it. Mm -hmm. You know, last year when we had that huge outage where we got hacked and everything else, oh, yeah. That was a big problem, but some of us were already kind of knowing that this had happened. So we came to work prepared, ready to make the shift. Yeah. Um, today, we were already here and we found out that the Wi-Fi was not operating as best it possibly could. So that creates more of a, if I've got to scramble to do something, it makes what we do look less effective. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, I can I can respond to any kind of emergency situation, but if I have to do that with what I was prepared for for the day, um, class by class, sometimes mm -hmm. it it gets daunting, and then you know the kids are like, "What are we supposed to do?" Yeah, go. Yeah. So I, thank you for your so, time. It's my Bonsfield. pleasure. That's it for today. Reporter friend Vega signing out. Coming up, we have some fun trivia to get to know your school admins better with reporter Andy Gonzalez. Andy Gonzalez, I'm here with Spartan Shield News. Today we'll be covering a segment of our administrators guessing Gen Z slang. Good, good afternoon, Ms. Sevilla. Um, how are you? 
I'm okay. I'm, yeah. I'm doing pretty good. I'm Mr. Alfaro. How are you? Good, good. How about yourself? Um, I'm doing good. Um, on this segment, where you're going to be guessing our generation slang. So you're just going to have to put meaning to the word that I give. Okay. okay, that's gonna so be interesting. With the first word or phrase, um, it's what is standing on business? Standing on standing business. On business. I, it's like you're on point. You're doing the right thing. You're you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Standing on business. It means that you're taking care of. You're doing what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Another one is what is it's Gucci? Mean? It's Gucci. It's Gucci. It's yeah. Gucci. No idea. No idea. <laughs> oh, like it's good. Like, do you have any guesses that you can make? It's Gucci. It's Gucci. No. <laughs> what does ghosting refer to? Ghosting? ghosting? Oh, it's when you disappear on somebody and mm -hmm. you don't tell them why. I mean, it for the plot. Uh, I would assume, I don't know, but I guess I would think doing it for the greater good or for my friends or for my... Yeah, my peeps. If something is lit, uh -huh. what does that mean? It means that it's fun. What does you ate or you left no crumbs? You left no crumbs? You, you left, left, no. Uh, you left no crumbs? You left no crumbs. Did you clean up after yourself? <laughs> Pizani Gonzalez, thank you for tuning in to this segment of Spartan Shield News. Hope you learned a thing or two. Now, to some groups that you should know better are the soccer team, Winter Drumline, Color Guard with, Key, with reporter Keon Hurd. This is reporter Keon Hurd bringing you this week's sports segment on Winter Drumline, Winter Color Guard, and Boys and Girls Soccer. Today I'm here with Randy Carpintero. Desiree Salcedo. So how do you feel about your season this year? Pretty good. It's fun overall. Honestly, I feel like it's going pretty strong. You know, some losses and wins here and there, but I feel like we could get right back on track. Beyond the goals, what's the most rewarding feeling you get from playing soccer? Honestly, I feel like the family. Like, it just feels like family, honestly. Like, just the friends. It's just fun. How close I become with my teammates. If you could change one rule in soccer, what would it be? <laughs> Letting the keeper do anything. That if the goalkeeper drops the ball, he can't pick it up anymore. Because I feel like, you know, it could slip. You know, you should be able to drop, pick it back up. Okay. What's one surprising thing most people don't know about being a soccer player? That it's honestly hard work and dedication. If you don't have either one of those, I don't think you can be a soccer player. That it's hard. That it's, it's really hard and that people might think it's easy, but when you get another sport, it's challenging. Today I'm here with... Alice. So Alice, what's the best part about being in the Winter Drumline community? The best part about being part of the Winter Drumline community is that like, you get to have so much fun with new instruments. Like, I play cymbals, and I just like, you know, just playing my stuff, helping people, like, keep in time with their feet. And overall, just the music sounds really good. Okay. How do you feel about the season so far, and is there anything you look forward to? I feel pretty good about this season. Like, the music sounds fire for sure. And I'm just so excited for comps. Loki, yeah. Okay. What goes through your mind as you're performing? Honestly, I just blank out. I'm like, I just try to keep my feet in time. And I just try to memorize all of my music. I just keep on trying to like, I just get in the music. Like, I just fall into the music and I'm like, okay, I know where I'm at. Okay, I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. Like, it gets in me, you know? Okay. Lastly, what advice would you give to someone considering joining Winter Drumline? Honestly, if you want to try out music, do it. Like, I, I was, like, considering it. I was like, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should. But then I was like, learning an instrument kind of sounds like fun. Like, I low-key want to be in that. So I did it. And now this is my second year in being in music, and I love it. It's so good. Well, thank you for your time, Alice. No problem. Today I'm here with... Siomara. So what's the best part about being in the Color Guard community? Um, you get to make a lot of new friends and meet new people. How do you feel about the season so far, and is there anything you're looking forward to? 
um, I'm really enjoying this season and I'm looking forward to performing and winning. What goes through your mind as you're performing? Um, counting, making sure I get the right counts. And what advice would you give to someone considering joining Color Guard? Um, have fun, be patient, and just be nice, be positive. Thank you for your time. This has been reporter Keon Hurd, back to the studio. On to a more serious note, multiple classrooms were broken into, burglarized, and vandalized over the winter break. Here with that is reporter Alisa Jacobo. Hi, I'm reporter Lisa Jacobo from the Spartan Shield News. We're reporting on the break-ins that happened in the band room and journalism room over break. Miss Anthony, what do you think about the break-ins that happened during the break? Um, well, they're mo it's mostly really frustrating because this is not the first time my room has been broken into. It's the first time this school year, but it got broken into last year. Um, so my my biggest reaction is you know frustration that it keeps happening and nothing seems to be getting done about it also confusion because they mostly just broke in to like vandalize the room they didn't really take anything so it's also just like okay why do they keep breaking into this room uh during this breaking did they take anything um uh, commemorative they stole my walkie talkies and they stole a trumpet, from what we can tell, because we've recently realized there's a trumpet missing. But other than that, they mostly just vandalized the room. They knocked some stuff over, and they spray-painted around the room. Uh, how did that affect uh, your band? Well, I didn't really talk to the band about it that much. Um, some of the students in Drumline came um, a few days after we found out during the break to clean the... Um, the spray paint off of where they spray painted everything. So most of us were just, again, confused. Like, why did they just break into spray paint everywhere? And, you know, kind of frustration that this keeps happening. Hey, thank you, Miss Anthony. You're welcome. I'm reporter Lisa Cobo signing off. Back to you in the studio. And to end things up, we have our ASB updates with Lisette Perez. Hi, this is Lizette Perez. I'm your senior class president, and this is ASB updates for the month of February. So the next uh, two weeks, we're going to be selling Valentine's Day grams, wedding booth tickets, and love and friendship dinner tickets. Um, the Valentine's Day grams are like the ones that, you know, we're going to be selling out the most because everyone wants to get a rose for their poopy. And But we also do encourage that everyone buy um, the other two, um, the wedding booth and the the love and friendship tickets because they all go to um, ASB and our classes. And then also in the month of February, we're also going to have um, class t-shirt uh, fundraisers and um, movie nights. We're going to have a sweetheart movie night February 9th. And we're also going to have senior movie night um, at the end of the month. And then we're going to carry on to having more fundraisers in March that are yet to be um, announced. That's, That's all we have for today's party. I'm Frank Vega. I'm Keon Hurd. I'm Lisa Jacobo. And, and thank you for watching Spartan Shield News.